Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is your reading for September 1st to the 15th, 2018 Love and General Reading. Just briefly showing you the cards that I will be using. I'm using the Tarot 3D as the the message of karma or dharma. I'm doing the divine reading and this is by David Corsi just so you can get a an idea of what I'm doing this month. I'm also I will be actually I'm going to be using the Albano White Tarot which is one of my favorite decks. Okay and it is it's a special edition by Frankie Albano as well as I will be using the La Vera Sibila for the extended Vimeo readings as well as the Whispers of Love Oracle Cards okay, by Angela Hartfield for a message in relation to love and also getting a spirit message, the spirit messages by John Holland Okay, it's another oracle deck. Okay, so these cards will be used in the Vimeo extended readings as well as the La Vera Sibila. Okay, for those, uh, for those of you that are interested in the astrology part of the reading, it will be after, after the readings have been done because most people uh, tend to look at the tarot more than what the astrology so stick around to the end of the reading if for your sign of course um, don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising signs and I'd like to also before I forget I'd like to wish Virgo a happy birthday many happy returns dear Virgo happy happy birthday to you okay let's go on to the readings now Hello Taurus, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is your love and general reading. It's the divine reading, right? For the 1st to the 15th of September 2018. Let's see what the um, karma card is for you. What you have to know for this time. Taurus, What is your focus? What are you going through, Taurus? Okay. Okay, so you have the world card. Beautiful. Completion. Some sort of a successful completion. Something is ending. A karmic cycle is ending for a new cycle to begin now this is very saturnian energy we know that we know that having um having put in that hard work and I know that you guys work really hard okay you're completing something finishing up a project a situation whatever it is it's successfully having gone through those lessons now on this world card we've got the four fixed energies we've got the Leo Aquarius axis and we've got the Taurus Scorpio axis very fixed energy fixed energy means not easily movable right so persevering not giving up until you come to this completion point now we're having a full moon which is a completion a culmination in Aries on the 25th of September so could it be that time some of you may be wanting to and needing to travel internationally. Visiting someone could be finishing anything to do with international uh, foreign places, foreign people, right? Um, 
and depicted on this card is your ruler Venus which is she's ready to be reborn now she is moving through Libra and Libra is also ruled by Venus Venus is what we love it's our money it's our belongings it's what we is near and dear to us what we love so what we place value in so it's actually going through relationships you may be for those of you that are in a long-term relationship um, you may be tying the knot and beginning a new cycle others of you are completing a cycle maybe because this is Capricornian energy um, Saturnian Saturn rules Capricorn right now we've got Mars Pluto and Saturn uh, all in Capricorn Capricorn is the house of career it's the it's the house of how you are seen in the world as well so there could be a completion in how people see you in the world so are you is your status changing are you moving up in in your field of in your business in the hierarchy let's say you're moving from the manager to the director position that could be it as well let's see what the cards want to show I think it's time to put them down and cut for Taurus first to the 15th of September I was saying that your ruler is going to move into its shadow period next week so whatever you want to do quickly this week before it starts going into shadow and slowing down before it turns retrograde in Scorpio okay so Scorpio yes very sexual um, Venus can be quite vindictive in Scorpio she can be quite dark so let's see okay the root of your issue is the chariot what is hidden from you what you don't know is the five of swords now there was another sign I can't remember who had the same card in the same position it may have been Capricorn oh, not a hundred percent about that in the recent past you have the Queen of Swords in the present you have got the nine of wands crown in your reading is the seven of cups the action and advice to take is the hermit the outcome for you is the king of cups and in the divine position and what is happening planetarily for you we have the three of pentacles okay you've got two sevens and they are the divine that is the divine you've got a lot of choices here crowning your reading this is your goal you want to have you're trying to make some sort of a choice here things are up in the air though you're still disillusioned you can't see clearly you can't see because all these cups are up in the clouds okay but um, seven is the number of the divine um, sometimes I would say it's good to have choices now other times it can be difficult of course you've got the chariot here this is the energy of cancer some of you are literally moving house you are moving house you may be moving to another country the chariot also speaks of overcoming all the obstacles you know focusing on moving forward and overcoming what is holding you back you are moving literally now um, 
again the house of cancer is the house of family the house of your parents cancer is the fourth house of home it does speak of mother of the mother because the moon which rules the fourth house is a feminine energy it is the mother so just looking at your cards I think that you're going to have to I need to say hold your horses temper yourself sometimes we see the chariot with horses so it's saying that you're rushing to complete a cycle um, okay being lost for words that's your reading dear Taurus <laughs> Okay, so we've also got Piscean energy here. Piscean energy, right? Piscean energy is where Neptune is. Neptune is the divine love. It is the wearing the rose-colored glasses. It is actually Neptune in Pisces is trining over to Scorpio. And that is Scorpio is the benefic planet, right? It tries to expand, but it also deals with legal issues. Now, Venus is going to be moving into Scorpio soon. Um, so things are going to be coming up to do with love and money and what you value. I'm going to say that you need to, again, I'm going to say it, hold your horses. Do not rush forward. You can overcome these obstacles. You're wanting to move quickly. But the way things have been, it's not happening yet. Mars has turned direct, but it's not moving quickly. Mercury is, unfortunately, it's squaring off to Jupiter in Scorpio, which is difficult energy because Mercury deals with communication, right? Scorpio is bringing up everything that is dark. Uh, Jupiter is bringing up everything that is dark in Scorpio. So whatever communication or even short distance travel let's say is being hindered you are being challenged by that now with the hermit here looking at the details looking for information this is also the card of Virgo Virgo is where the Sun is right now um, you are being asked because this is in the action and advice position to look at the finer details to embody the energy of Virgo now that will probably help you because the Sun is in Virgo the Sun does bring clarity so Virgo is your fifth house to do with anything to do with what is Leo Leo is true love Leo is children Leo is joy it's what we truly love it's anything that we've created in business it's also you know the house of fun the house of gambling look at the finer details before you push forward this is a nine you're almost at the ten almost at the completion but in the what's hidden from you is some sort of conflict someone is really being conflicted now this is air energy and we've got the Queen of Swords here you may need to do battle with an air sign so Gemini Libra or Aquarius if you are dealing with a Libra and I'm saying Libra why because your ruler is there right now but Libra in general is the partnership house whether this is business or pleasure or romance whatever um, you are dealing with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is someone who speaks their truth. 
They can be someone who's very cutting, their words can cut. Now the Five of Swords is difficult energy, so I'm I do believe that the Queen of Swords can be quite harsh with what she is, the ruling that she is making, whatever uh, announcement, because she looks as though she's making some sort of an announcement. So the Five of Swords is, yes, conflictual energy, and there's three people here, but you do know that you've got the upper hand. You are the winner here as long as you take part in this, right? Now, this can be an intellectual duel, an intellectual competition, a perception as well. This queen can be very cold and very aloof, looking at just the details, looking at just the facts and not at her emotions. Now, look here. We've got the Queen of Swords, we've got the King of Cups. I do believe that the King of Cups could be your energy here, dear Taurus. Maybe you have Cancer as your moon or your rising sign. You've got your back turned to this Queen who she seems quite vengeful. So I would say do take care, do be careful with whatever she has in store for you. Look at what's in between the two of you the world. Could this be a distance, metaphorical or literal? You may be moving away from this Queen of Swords. In the now position, you've got the Nine of Wands. You've got two Nines. You, you seem as though you are very protective. You're protecting your family, your anything that you've built in your life. Now, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you may be working with a Virgo. The Hermit is a very spiritual card. It's a very, it's the guru, right? It could even be a solicitor looking at the details. If you are going through legal issues, the Hermit can be a solicitor and the Queen of Swords can be the magistrate, the judge. I notice that in the Nine of Wands, you are looking towards the past. You're hoping to leave something behind, but you've got one more wand to go before this burden uh, ceases. Now, in the Divine Position, you've got the Three of Pentacles. This is your work scene. This is where you make your magic. And when I say making magic, it says that uh, it means that you're, some of you, yes, may be working with magic, of course, but for others of you, it says that you what you are creating, it's out of three, and three is the number of the empress, right? What you're creating is something that's going to um, expand. It's going to grow. It has promise, okay? You're doing a great job. Your peers are looking at you. You are being congratulated. As I said, there may be some sort of a promotion here, but you're looking at the details, at the finer details. This is very exquisite work that you are doing right now. You are building something that is very important. This man is building a church, you know, the house of God. So what you're building is something very spiritual, dear Taurus. Now, if <sighs> the hermit could be, because we've got a fire sign, uh, I said fire sign, we've got a, an air sign here, the Queen of Swords, right? Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aquarius, I said more Libra. We've also got the card of Virgo, and I do believe more than likely that this is your energy. If this is not your energy, if you are not uh, this king, then you may be dealing with another Pisces. So we've got Virgo and Pisces. Let's say that's the axis that you're working with, Virgo and Pisces. Uh, 
Um, as I said, Virgo is your fifth house of true love and children. And Pisces uh, is your 11th house. So your 11th house is like the house of Aquarius. It deals with social groups and associations. It also does deal with dreams and wishes, right? It's also your money house. Since the 10th house is the career house, the 11th house for you would be your money house. It's the money coming in from, from your career, from your business, right? Um, and because it's the house of wishes and dreams, that's why I said that there may be a promotion, something really good in the area of business is really showing up really well here, I feel that, but you've got competition around you, so do take care, people are jealous, people see you and they want to beat you to the finish line, and I did say that I feel as though you are rushing something, trying to rush something, but you know what? Saturn Kronos will not let you move quickly. You have to you have to do it step at a time. Okay? Rushing forward is not not advised here. Take your time and look at the details. Now, looking at this diagonal line here, we've got the 9 of wands and the 3 of pentacles. So whatever you have built and you are protecting is and has got promise that there is growth here. You will receive the accolades. Looking at this area here, what you find, what you see in this light, in this lantern, may, may put you in a position of conflict. Now this is a perception, right? It may not be an actual conflict. It may be that you are you perceive something as being competitive and difficult. But know that you can do this, you can win in this fight, in this competition, in this matter, whatever it is. Fives always speak of change coming in. I see that there is quite, with this couple here, it looks as though because the queen is before the completion, I feel as though there's going to be a completion with this queen, this judge, there's going to be a successful completion. This king of cups is looking towards the future. So this is someone, if this is your partner, then this is someone who is going to be in your future. If this is your energy, you are looking to the future to um, for something that is much more emotionally stable for you because you are the king of cups right you are the king of hearts right now if this is your energy you are embodying your emotions very different day and night between you and this queen Okay, we've got two sevens here, which equal 14. That's the temperance. That's Sagittarian energy again. Spirituality. It's the divine. It's the free spirit. Yes. It's the guru. It's the foreign places and people. And again, it's patience. If we look at the nine and the three here, they equal 12, which is the hanged man. You're almost there. There may be some sort of sacrifice that you need to make. Maybe the universe is asking for a sacrifice before you could start moving forward the way you want. Right now, it's a bit, things are up in the air, dear Taurus. Look at the details. As long as the sun is in Virgo, I would say do not move. Take your time, check out what you need to check out before you move forward. Take your time. I think I will leave it at that. <sighs> Thank you so much, dear Taurus, for being here. I will be extending this reading, of course, on Vimeo. 
Um, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. I do hope that uh, this time for you is not so frustrating as it is for a lot of people even though your reading does speak of a little bit of frustration here um, know that it this will end too okay so take care talk to you mid month of september bye for now okay i hope you enjoyed uh, the tarot now on to the a little bit of astrology for you Mars did turn direct finally after a couple of months being in retrograde motion in Capricorn. So it is moving direct. Soon it will be in Aquarius and it's not very happy in Aquarius. It's happy in Capricorn um, but not in Aquarius. It doesn't seem to want to be there. So that's a really good thing though. Um, having Mars turn direct has just been really, really difficult for everyone there's been a lot of passive aggressiveness not being able to move forward you know having Mars in Aquarius being on top of that south node um, and being retrograde uh, really really difficult energies okay so we're out of that difficult energy now finally Mars going direct for those of you that are ruled by Mars which is Aries mostly, as well as Scorpio. Scorpio is co-ruled by Pluto and by Aries. Um, it seems that for, for those signs, those two signs, things will be much simpler and the energy that you're putting in, whatever you're trying to accomplish, because it is in Capricorn, right, that is putting in the hard work, standing in your integrity, trying to push through... Um, uh, difficult energy such as uh, people that are of authority to you right that's what Capricorn is all about putting in the hard work because that's the house of Capricorn is the house of career so you will notice that things will come easier now also uh, with Saturn being retrograde and Saturn will be moving direct as well Saturn will be moving direct as of the 6th of September so we all know that Saturn is you know the authority figure himself anything to do with you know the father the boss any authorities um, it could even be um, authority such as the police right any sense of authoritarian energy over you will be you know, if you've done the hard work, you'll be able, you've got a sort of a chance to move forward because whatever you've been working on, whilst the uh, whilst the planet was actually going backwards, all that hard work will be paying off. So you're reaping the rewards. You are getting some accolades for all that hard work. So as well as that, we've got Pluto, Pluto in Capricorn as well which is moving direct um, on the last day of September, the 30th of September. So all those big planets, all the, um, the malefic planets, Mars, Saturn and Pluto are all moving direct from yesterday up until the end of September. There's going to be a window of opportunity, right, to do things that have to do, that deal with Capricorn. Anything that is Capricornian for you, whether it be authority, whether it be appearance, whether it be career, even things to do with your home because the opposite sign, the, the karmic sign to Capricorn is Cancer and Cancer is the house of home. Again, mother. Um, the house of Cancer is the mother. The house of Capricorn is the father. Now, because Cancer is the home, it can rule both parents. So that's how the energies work, right? Both All those three planets going, those big players moving direct is a blessing. Thank goodness for September. What can I say? Now, we've got a new moon in September on the 9th. And the new moon in September is in Virgo. So dear Virgos, 
it's time to make your wish you have your new moon of the year so it is time for you to begin new things it is time for you to start something new now don't forget to make that wish as soon as you see the moon crescent in the sky as soon as you can actually see it not when you cannot see it when it's not visible that's when you make your wish right and hopefully in the next six months when we have the full moon in um, in Virgo in in another six months your you should be able to receive that wish that special wish that you have sent out to the universe right now just another thing in relation to Venus Venus is going to be going retrograde on the 6th of October which is not very far off so for those of you that want to do any um, any surgery anything to do with beauty um, so anything to do with you know changing anything to do with your body anything to do with your physical body right um, it is time to do it now do not wait until October Venus is going to be retrograde uh, from the 6th to the 16th 6th of October till the 16th of November so you've got the window of September to do whatever you need like plastic surgery Botox whatever thing you do to your appearance if you want to make sure that it works out well because when Venus is retrograde we do not make purchases we don't go overboard with money spending money anything we do like that we may regret so please take note of that now in the month of September we've got a full moon in Aries on the 24th of September full moon in Aries right it's at the first degrees so for those of you that have got uh, planets in the beginning of the Aries season do know that there will be you know you will be affected mostly by the full moon full moons are culminations their clarity right because the moon is so lit up from the Sun which is right across the chart to it now um, so a lot of the retrogrades are ending right we've recently had up to seven like six planets in retrograde plus I think it was six planets right plus Chiron going retrograde now uh, with these three big players moving direct as well as um, in the month of September as I said um, as well as Mars having gone direct right so Mars Saturn Pluto uh, Mars is as I said on the 27th of August it's gone direct so wow fantastic now Saturn and Pluto 6th of September for Saturn Pluto 30th of September it is looking great now Uranus is still retrograde up until January the beginning of January Neptune will be moving direct on the 24th of November that's still got a while to go and Chiron will be moving direct in February next year so yeah we're gonna have a lot of the our, even our personal planets right moving direct but as I said uh, Venus will be moving retrograde very soon so do take care do whatever you have to do in September anything to do with uh, anything that we love because Venus is love and it is money now I think I will leave it at that one last thing before I uh, finish up the astrology there is a major earth trine it's a triangle right it's connected by three trines which are very positive very positive it's the most positive energy or meeting in the sky of the planet planets I could say so we've got Saturn in Capricorn at the top of the chart right and then it touches on Uranus which is in Taurus and touches across to the Sun in Virgo so there is a beautiful trine earth trine all in earth signs 
so Capricorn Taurus and Virgo are very beneficially um, reaping some sort of beautiful flowing energy right at this time and it's great to see so Saturn is the restrictive energy right Uranus is breaking down what does not work what we do not value the Sun in Virgo is the Sun is how we see the world it's healing it's it's us right it's also the father the Sun is rules the father right um, and the Sun is who we are right it's our core and that is trining over to Saturn so yes working through restrictions breaking down what does not work and healing as well healing because the Sun is a very healing energy it's also a, an energy of vitality so a lot of energy especially with Mars having gone direct you will notice that everyone has got a lot more energy now Okay, I think I will leave it at that. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch the astrology part. Do keep well. Thank you and lots of love and lots of blessings till our next, our next videos, which will be mid-September. Take care until then. Bye-bye.